time of this hour's car review, Mr. Mars has the GMC Sierra 1500. Yes, the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X. Now, this is another off-road offering that's coming out of the house of GM. And uh, it comes in <laughs> this one. Eight different trim levels. If you get into the Sierra, you can get the Pro, the SLE, uh, the Elevation, the SLT, the AT4, the AT4X, and the Denali, and the Denali Ultimate. So we, the AT4X that we had was kind of in the middle of all that mix as far as the trim levels go. This is a full-size pickup. It's geared up for off-road and uh, seats five passenger. We had that cayenne red paint on it, and I that's probably the best looking paint I have seen on any GM vehicle except for maybe a couple of the Corvettes. It was really nice, particularly out in the sunshine. So, uh, of course, you're gonna find up front, you're gonna find the HED head, uh, headlights, and it had uh, tail lights, DLR, the fog lights, the cargo lights, all kinds of HED lighting on this thing, set up with an off-road suspension that includes a two-inch lift and you got skid plates under the transfer cases and the transmission and the gas tank. Got a power sunroof on this thing. So that if you're out there and about and you uh, kind of, you want some sunshine, let the sunshine in, come on in. It was interesting, this vehicle also has a carbon fiber bed. And it has the six-way function tailgate. You know, the one that Chevrolet does on the TV that kind of folds down. But the other thing it had was the multi-pro kicker stereo system that fits on that tailgate so when you fold it down that first time and you set it down like a step that stereo mounts right in there so that you've got a kicker system on the outside of your vehicle got plenty of sound going on out there and um, you go into the inside of it of course nice luxury type stuff like leather seating the front seats have massage both passenger and uh, driver heated ventilated the second row the outboard seating positions were also heated it's a fold-up bench to give you some flat, uh, give you plenty of room for cargo. It's got lots of screen in it, 13.4 touch screen. Now, that's up in the front where you're going to find all your Apple, your Android, all your uh, convenience controls are all going to be right there. you got a wireless technology to keep everything charged. 12.3-inch digital driver's display. So you've got this right in front of the driver where you're going to find all your controls, your tax, your speedometers, everything. And then on top of that, it had a 15-inch heads-up display that you could pull up, and almost everything that was in that driver's display is now up there on the H on the heads-up display. I thought it was really cool, in color, really nice setup. And, of course, on the inside, we had a 12-speaker audio Bose premium system. So there's lots of technology in this vehicle, lots of it to sound good. And to make all this stuff get down the road, we had a 6.2-liter 6 6 V8 Ecotec engine up under the hood. 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, backed by a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, set up like this, this vehicle can actually tow 13,000 pounds when properly equipped and haul up to 1,820 pounds in a half-ton truck. Never had that math work out for me, but... EPA says you should be looking for 15 miles per gallon in the city, 17 out on the highway, and combined for 15. I drove this vehicle 459.4 miles in a week, and I got 15.5 miles per gallon, so I was thrilled with that for a vehicle that weighs 7,100 pounds. So it's got plenty of power for going off-road and the gearing and, and the setup for that as well as out on the highway. It is a firm right, but it's you feel like you're in control. It's not going to bounce you all over the place. It's not going to rock your world to death, you know. But it's you do feel firm and you're in control of it. Now, the base model price for a Sierra is forty-two thousand eight hundred dollars. The base trim price for the AT4X is seventy-seven thousand five hundred dollars. As <laughs> tested price is eighty-one thousand ten dollars. I got distracted. Eighty-one thousand and ten dollars. I can't imagine why. Now, if you're looking for something to compare it to, you might see a Ford F-150, $41,530 starting out, a Toyota Tundra, $39,915, or a Ram 1500 for $40,110. So lots of stuff to pick out from when you get out there into that full-size pickup world. And uh, this was a pretty nice one. I I'll say. say. Very cool. No doubt. Hey, the In-Wheel Time Car Talk Show is available 24-7 through the iHeartRadio app. Just look for In Wheel Time Car Talk. We also stream on Facebook, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com. 30-minute podcast at your fingertips.